All right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Hedge Daily 9 p.m. sessions. The trade that we are going to discuss today is the one that we gave on our platform and is called Modified Bearish Ladder. A modified bearish ladder is nothing but a combination of your bear call and your bull put. Okay. So we are going to learn this with the example of the trade that we have given on the platform. So let's directly jump in into the trade. Let's just understand the strikes over here that we have taken. Okay. I'm just going to write it down over here. So all expiries are, are of 3rd July. All right. I'm going to write all 3rd July expiry. Now, like I said, it's a combination of your bear call and it's a combination of your bull put strategy. Okay. So, oh, I'm so sorry, I've made a mistake over here. Bear call. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. It's a credit strategy, but uh, modified bearish ladder is basically your bear call and your bear put. Okay, now those who are aware of the bull put, I'm sure you'll know what a bear put strategy is also. Am I right? All right, great. So it's a combination of your bear call and your bear put strategy. And basically bull put is the reverse of your bear put, right? So, but in a modified bearish ladder, it is a combination, I'll repeat, is your, of your bear call and your bear put. So what exactly are we doing in this? That we bear put is a debit strategy and just to minimize the risk, we are taking a bear call, which is a credit strategy. So as the name suggests, that modified bearish ladder is a strategy that you take when the bias is on the downside. Okay. Now, how do you plan it? By planning a bear call and a bull put. So now let's see this with an example of the trade that we have given on the platform. So as if you want to check it later, the trade ID is 1366 over here. Okay. Now let, let me just write down the strikes of what strikes we have taken exactly. So we have taken a bear call. of 53,300 and 53,200. Okay. 53,200 minus CE at 315. 53,300 plus CE at 277. Okay, is the is the website visible to you all? Just give me a quick confirmation so I know the website is visible. Can you all see the hedged website on the screen? This is the bear call that we have taken, and the bear put is of fifty two thousand plus PE at two thirty and. 51900 minus PE at 208. Now I want you all to calculate the maximum risk in the trade. What is the maximum risk in the trade that you can have? What is the maximum loss that will happen? I want you all to calculate and tell me how are you all doing it. For those who are new, I'm obviously going to show you the calculations, but those who have a basic option, basic idea of options, I want you all to tell me what will be the maximum loss in the trade. And it's okay if you all are wrong, just give it a try. Okay, someone is Hemant Singh, 16 points. Uh, okay, Hemant and Rana, just tell me how are you all getting this points? How are you all calculating it? Remember, we have a credit strategy and we have a debit strategy. So what is the maximum loss that can happen? And the credit that we have taken is more than the debit that we are paying. How are you all calculating this and how is this number coming to you all? 
So Hemant has said 16 points. Rana is saying 10 points. Uh, 38 points debited. Are you sure, Rana? 38 points is debited. Yeah, 38 points is the credit, correct? This is 315 the, is the sold call leg. And 277 is your bought call leg. We have planned a bear call. That's when the big thing I asked you all, who over here is aware of what a bear call strategy is and what a bear put strategy is. A bear call strategy is basically you sell a call leg and you buy a call leg of an upper strike. So basically it is a credit strategy. It's not a debit strategy. I have sold 53,200 call at 315 and I have bought 53,300 at 277. So the credit in the bear call is 38 points. Okay. Now, what is the debit? The debit in the bear put. The debit in the bear put. Is. 230 minus 208. 230 minus 208 is 22. Yeah, Rana, you're right. 22 points is the max debit. So we have a credit of 16 points, correct? Is the debit. Uh, is the credit I mean. Now, how is this helping us? So, two ways, okay? Now, we have planned a bearish trade. Now, if the market remains where it is, we are still going to not incur any loss because we have a credit of 16 points. If the market goes down, what will be the maximum profit? 16 point. Okay, I want you all to think and tell me what will be the maximum profit in the trade. If market goes down, if it goes below 51,900, what will be the maximum profit? Guys, you all don't have to be worried about being wrong. And even if you have any queries, just type it down. Okay, it's a session for you all to understand something new. What will be the maximum profit in the trade? Eman, Kaluri, Neha, Om, Rohan, Sanjay. We are basically discussing a strategy with the bearish bias saying that if the market doesn't go down, if the market goes down, we'll make money. If the market doesn't do anything, we are not losing anything. And if the market goes down, yes, there will be a loss involved in the strategy. But of course, the modifications are as followed. But having a having a trade where two conditions in the two conditions being in bearish or being at sideways, we are making money. And only in one condition that is going up, we are not. We are discussing this kind of a strategy. Three hundred minus twenty two points profit in bed put. Three hundred minus. No, Hemant. Hemant, the difference is only 100 rupees. Where are you getting 300 points from? The bear put is the difference in 52,000 and 51,900 is 100 rupees, right? So, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no problem, Hemant. Okay, so 51,900 we have taken. We understood that uh, this trade has a pro this trade has a credit of 16 points. Now, no, not even 140. See, till now, if the market is sideways, we are making 16 points, correct? 
Now, if the market goes down, we have a difference of 100 points. So my max profit will be 100 plus 16 points. Am I right? Y'all understood how will my max profit be 116 points? Anyone in the room who hasn't understood it, why it will be 116 points? Great. And if the market goes up, it will be 100 minus 16 points. That is max loss is 100 minus 16. That comes to 84 points. Okay. So that is your max profit and that is your max loss. We have a higher profit compared to the loss. We have two directions where we'll make money. One direction is there. That too, the expiry is of 3rd July. We still have one week in hand to evolve anything in the trade on the downside. Because if it goes down, we are going to make money. We can plan a bull put. Uh, the initial strategy that I, start, uh, that I started with. We can plan a bull put on the down to cover this loss or bring it down at least. So, just give me one second. Yeah. So, out of the three ways, we are making money in two ways. And one way, we have time, we have two weeks in hand to evolve the trade. If market doesn't go according to our bias, that is on the downside. Okay. Let me just show you the payoff graph over here. How many of you are taking the free trades that we post on the uh, that we post on the platform? Anyone over here who has been taking the free trades? Yes, Kumar, I know you have been taking it. Anyone else who has been taking it? All right. Okay, so for those who are new to options and for those who are aware about the website and who are in touch because I see a few common names over here who have been tracking, who have been seeing the trades and the sessions. I would just ask you all to any trade that we give, you all have an option to track the trade. Okay. Now, like I said, if market goes up, we will modify the trade or if market behaves in the favor, we will basically book profit, of course. So you will be notified about everything that we do in the trade. Okay. And this is only for your learning perspective that if you want, uh, if you, you will, you will basically come get an idea of what exactly hedge strategies are. How do we plan a trade and how do we evolve it? If it doesn't go in our favor, right? So I'm just going to show you the payoff over here that we have spoken. We have three directions out of which two directions are profitable. One direction is in loss. The profit is greater than the loss. And plus we have time in our hand to make any changes if the market goes up. Okay. So this is the payoff graph of the trade. Like I said, the 16 points is your credit that we already have. So if the market remains sideways, we are still going to make money. If the market goes down, we have the profit that we calculated. And if the market comes, uh, yeah, and if the market comes up, the loss is there. But interesting part is, let's say if market starts going up, okay. Now this entire area, by the area, I mean that these strikes, it is easily possible to plan a bull put over there or there are like 100 evolves that we can do, okay, with, uh, with the strikes being so far. So if any changes are made in this trade, you can just track this over here so that if the trade is modified, you will be notified about it. 
you can just click this track button all right okay uh, yes you can place the uh, orders directly through our app but for that uh, we have our different subscription models for any details about the subscription models you all can just type in your number and the team will call you back so right now these sessions are only done for the education post uh, perspective and so that you all get an idea about what kind of option strategies we are giving on the platform and since they are free as a learning perspective who wants to understand how to plan hedged option trades this is the best thing right now and these kind of strategies are not anywhere available so anyone who wants to learn can just track the trades you don't even have to take the trades you don't even have to like start taking trades or planning trades on your own directly we post a trade daily on the free on the uh, on the platform that is there on the website and on the app and you all can just directly go there and track the trade it's as simple as possible and for those who want to like know about how do you directly place the orders from the trade there are different subscription plans and for that if you all need any details you all can just put in your number and the team will call you back okay so i'll just come back to the chat section and now if anyone has any trade uh, any problem in the trade that i've explained or any doubts that you all have you all have you all can just ask me over here i'm just going to stop sharing my screen here okay so did everyone understand what a pair put ladder is did you all understand what a bearish ladder is exactly it is a combination of your bear call and your bear put and did you all like the concept about how different the trade is planned compared to just taking a simple bull call or a simple bear put or taking your straddles or strangles or such kind of base like the trades strategies that are already available on the net all right great so i think everyone is clear with the strategy so i'll just end the session over here thank you so much everyone i'll see you in the next session